Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabby and today we're going to talk about some leather fragrances or not necessarily just leather fragrances, but fragrances that give you that leather scent. Uh, they might have actually suede, might have actually osmanthus, might have um, different notes that mix together. They smell like leather. And I know, I know that leather is not an easy note. It's not for me either, okay? Until probably last year, probably I have like one or two fragrances that smelled like leather and I actually enjoy them. Right now I have 10 fragrances. I'm going to share them. I'm going to share all of them with you because like I said, they're easy. They're not too dark. And even, even though you don't, you maybe don't like a leather note, a suede note, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy these ones because exactly the same thing happened to me. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to pick thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and now let's jump in. All right, we're going to start this video with the designers that I've got and then we're going to move on to the niche fragrances. Like I said, I have in here 10, 10 perfumes. I didn't, I didn't want to make a top 10, but it just happened to have 10 perfumes so these are the 10 that I absolutely love and like I said that all of them they give you this leather suede uh, type of note even though maybe they don't have suede maybe they don't have leather but the notes mixed together they give you a leather note and it's just beautiful and it's not too much it's not too dark and it's perfectly unisex some of them are actually very very feminine now let's start with the first one um, and actually an affordable fragrance. This one is from Salvatore Ferragamo and this one is Signorina Eleganza. Signorina Eleganza is, I think it actually has a leather note as well, uh, but it has osmanthus and this is everything that I smell. Yes, osmanthus, if you don't know, is this flower that smells obviously like floral, but it has a peachy quality and then it has a leather quality as well this is what, all what i'm getting i'm getting this floral peach with a little bit of suede not necessarily leather more like suede like the name suggests it's very elegant it's an easygoing fragrance every day it's not too dark it's not too heavy it's not too light this is like perfectly um it's perfect it's appropriate for any occasion if you ask me it's very elegant for any season, I don't think this one is going to be too much in the spring and summer. It's not going to be too light for fall and winter. It's just all year round. Very, very um, inexpensive, very affordable. And it's just a beautiful scent. That's it. It's just a beautiful scent. Very elegant, very classy and for a very, very good price. Like I said, it's not something, wow, the most un unique. It's not a dark scent. No, it's just a beautiful floral scent that has that suede quality and it's a little bit peachy as well i do really like it generally this is like a no-brainer for me um and it's very very affordable so check this one out i think it's still available in stores so go and check this one out because it's a beautiful fragrance for a very good price signorina eleganza from salvatore ferragamo now let's move on to something darker gold incense from carolina herrera you're gonna be like gabby did you lose your mind it literally says gold incense where is the leather let me tell you for me gold incense is not about the incense okay yes you can smell it but it's not about the incense gold incense has a labdanum note as well so all i'm getting is vanilla incense -y vanilla but don't think like church not that type of incense it's not strong it's a sweet incense with vanilla and then i'm definitely getting maybe some sandalwood as well because it's creamy but i'm getting this like leathery touch as well labdanum it's again another flower that has quite a strong leathery scent and i'm getting it in this one i would say with uh, gold incense is not necessarily a safe blind buy because it's something a bit animalic about it not sure if it's just um the labdanum in it but it's something a bit animalic and i feel like 
not everyone is gonna love this one like i said the name gold incense yes i can smell some, some incense i can smell i can smell some vanilla but it's not just that don't think i know baby cat from yves saint laurent don't think that type of scent this is completely different with carolina herrera if you buy from their official website you can choose samples as well um you can test the sample if you don't like the fragrance you can send it back this is what i did actually i purchased um what was the name not gold incense the other one gold myrrh absolute i purchased that one i tested the sample first and i didn't like it and i got a sample of gold incense as well so i decided to return that one because i didn't open the box and buy this one instead because i like this one way 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 much more this is gold incense it's like like I said, incense vanilla with this leather, a bit like creamy, a bit animalic leather touch. Um, yeah, Carolina Herrera gold incense. Next one. Next we have Cherry Smoke from Tom Ford. Again, a fragrance that doesn't really have a leather note. It's again Osmanthus. I, I really like this one. It's not gonna be for everyone. It's definitely way more unisex comparing to Lost Cherry. The cherry is not fizzy, it's very strong and it's very dark. It's like a dark, dark, dark cherry. And then you're getting this like woody notes and then a leathery vibe. It definitely has some, it has something leathery in it. It's not very strong. I have other fragrances that maybe have cherry and leather and the leather is stronger. With this fragrance, the whole composition feels dark. The cherry is dark. The woods are dark. Everything is dark about this fragrance. Try it. It's extremely expensive. I know, I know. If you like it, go and buy it from the Selfridges website because everyone was saying that the Selfridges website has this one for a better price. Even though you have to pay shipping, it's still cheaper uh, comparing um, if you'd want to like buy it from the official Tom Ford website or Sephora because I know that in the States this is like extremely expensive. It's still very expensive here in the UK, but like in the States, like what is like 300 and something almost 400 dollars for 50 ml is ridiculous. This one in here it's 265 for a 50 ml, still very expensive. Do not blind buy it. If you're from UK, it's available in Selfridges, go and test it because. I do really like it. I, I personally do really like it. I know that many people tend to hate Tom Ford. I don't really like Tom Ford in general. I only have three fragrances from Tom Ford, but this one, I do really like it. So yeah, that's why it's in here. I can smell something leathery. It's definitely not just leather. It's definitely that Osmantis. Um, But yeah, I do really like it. Cherry Smoke, Tom Ford. Now, because we talked about cherries, obviously we have Cherry Punk. If you're looking for... A bright, sweet, boozy cherry with leather and Tom Ford uh, cherry smoke is not for you. Definitely check this one out. Room 1015 Cherry Punk is everything. It's such a sexy scent. Like the cherry is sweet. It's a bit boozy. It's bright. But then that leather, it's, it's almost creamy. It's a very smooth leather. You can smell it, but it's nothing harsh. It's nothing animalic, nothing like that. For me, it's unisex, leaning feminine. Like, I absolutely love this one. You can see, I, I'm, I'm just obsessed with this fragrance. It does perform, it does project. I do have a coupon code for you, and it's already not that expensive. I think it's around 110 euros, something like that. One, 110, 120. Then I have a coupon code, and it's definitely way, way better price than uh, cherry smoke and it's different but it's it's it be it's beautiful like i do really really like it it's just something very sexy about it you know um uh, cherry punk room 1015 next one we have mandol from soradora soradora <sighs> this time the leather is darker if you ask me and we don't have cherry we have um almonds almond and cherry can smell very similar it gives you a little bit of like a cherry vibe but you can definitely smell that there are almonds in it the leather is definitely darker it's not as sweet as cherry punk this one so many people are saying that this one is a gourmand i would say yes and no because it's just not 
that sweet and the almond note is not that strong you can definitely smell the leather suede whatever this one has you can definitely smell it it's so sexy it's ultra sexy it's it's amazing honestly it's amazing i would suggest you go and get maybe a discovery kit maybe a sample first but this is beast this lasts the whole day this is gonna project and this this like dark again like a creamy leather a creamy suede nothing too animalic nothing scratchy sometimes with leather it can be a bit scratchy it can be a bit like mm, it hurts my nose you know this one no this one is very smooth and then you're getting that almondy cherry thing going on beautiful beautiful sexy scent very dark very very dark mandor from soradora now because we are talking um about gourmands okay that have a suede leather note i have imperial from navitus this is See this one? I'm not really sure if it has any suede, any leather. I think it has a suede note. I'm getting this orange cacao. Orange cacao with a little bit of suede. It's a unisex gourmand, if you ask me. Yes, there are a billion um, chocolate orange fragrances on the market. This one is kind of in between cacao and chocolate then you're definitely getting the orange the orange is not zesty the orange is not bright it literally smells like it's infused in that cacao and then again you're getting this like suede quality might have some words as well perfectly unisex it's almost there to be a gourmand it's just not sweet enough to be a true true gourmand but it's a beautiful beautiful scent if you like chocolate if you like oranges and if you want to try something um maybe a, a leather a suede touch check this one out because it's such a unique even though there's so many orange chocolate fragrances on the market that suede that darkness that this fragrance has just makes it so so unique imperial from navitus now have two fragrances that like more like true leather fragrances the first one and probably the darkest one that i have in here uh, crying of evil from stefan humble lucas crying of evil it's a it's a leather scent okay this one it's a leather scent but again it's it has something so sexy and so creamy i don't know what it is it has a sweetness like it feels like you're getting leather and then you're getting the creamiest sweetest sandalwood you know when sandalwood is like so 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 creamy almost like whipped cream sandalwood this is what i'm getting with crying of evil but then obviously you're getting the dark dark leather i love it so much i had a sample first um i was just like oh my god this obsessed i had to get myself a full bottle i would suggest you go and sample it first because this is actually like a true leather scent it might not be for everyone it's perfectly unisex but absolutely love it and i just love love the bottle crank of evil stefan humble lucas next one again um a leather perfume but something easier than crying of evil we have cuir from uh, carner barcelona this one they sent me the discovery kit and as soon as i sprayed this one i was like Ooh, 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 that is amazing. Cuir is way softer than Crying of Evil. It's basically this, I don't know, again, creamy, sweet leather in the dry down. It has a bit of amber as well. Yeah, it's like leather with a little bit of amber and then the dry down, maybe a bit powdery as well. And then in the dry down, I'm getting something a little bit aromatic. I know it has some cypria oil. It's definitely like leather, amber, creamy. Might have some sandalwood as well. Beautiful fragrance. Stunning fragrance. This is like leather beginning. Honestly, you don't need to like leather fragrances to like this one. 
such an easy going type of scent perfect for like fall winter beginning of spring it's not too much it's not too dark it's not too concentrated it's just right there it's right there like i said if you don't like leather fragrances i feel like you are still gonna enjoy this one um they have the discovery kits like the miniature one you can choose three fragrances i purchased in the past from them and you can choose whatever fragrances you want if you want to um, get just a 10 ml and if you want to discover different scents i did that in the past i purchased from them in the past this you know i was like leather mm, not sure as soon as i got a discovery kit with the samples and i tested this one i was like this is beautiful so yeah cuir from carnet barcelona such such a good easy leather scent for beginners basically um queer carnet barcelona two more we have if you like um vanillas i feel like you're gonna like this one Ski silky words from goldfield and banks silky words it's vanilla the type of vanilla that's in uh, keali vanilla that brown sugar vanilla we like we like dry words and then you're getting a touch of suede i will not necessarily say that the suede i'm not even sure if it's suede in this fragrance but i'm definitely getting some suede they're like brown slightly scented suede like the inside of a handbag that type of scent with some brown sugar vanilla and then some dry words going on not too dark, not too dark, but that there. When I first uh, received this one, um, it was a blind buy for me and I wasn't the biggest fan. I hoped, I know, the vanilla would be stronger, the vanilla would be sweeter and it was not. So I was like, I'd be like, mm, I'm not really sure about this fragrance. I started to wear it. This was probably last year or two years ago. No, two years ago. I started to wear it and I just felt in love. Like the sillage from this one is just amazing it's amazing yes on paper it's nice but as soon as you spray it it smells stunning absolutely stunning if you have uh, goldfield and banks in your store try it try it on your skin just like all over and then walk around for a few hours to see how it actually smells in the air because in my opinion this one is way way better in the air comparing to just like you smelling it from your skin um silky words from goldfield and banks and now the last one and probably the um the one that is the most unisex but i still really really like it bacio immortale from argos bacio immortale is such a unique take on a leather fragrance because you are getting the leather and then you're getting this raspberry with citruses is like very very citrusy and something aromatic going on this is what i'm getting it's so unique because you have these two elements you have the leather again the leather is quite smooth but then you have that aromatic zesty citrusy opening and you're getting a sweetness from that raspberry this is it's unisex maybe leaning slightly masculine i do really like it for myself i actually wear it outside and it's just beautiful it smells very expensive like it smells like you have money like lots and lots of money it smells expensive that's everything and very bossy i would say because obviously it's not necessarily a feminine fragrance but it's definitely unisex like i'm wearing it okay like i don't like i don't I don't think I have anything that's um, targeted like towards men. That's just like a male fragrance and that, that I enjoy everything that I have. It's either female or unisex. And it, it's something, I don't know, it's something so unique about this one. That aromatic, zesty, citrusy thing. It's, it feels like you have two layers like the top layer is this like i said aromatic zesty citrusy with raspberry and then the base you're getting that beautiful leather again a creamy leather but you can smell both of them in the same time but you can definitely see that that two different that there are two different parts in this um in this fragrance 
It's not like the top, the one that I mentioned, is going to disappear. No, it stays there. You can smell both dimensions of this fragrance. It's such a good unisex fragrance if you want to share it, uh, maybe with your partner, or if you like more unisex, a bit more masculine um, type of scent, definitely check this one out. Uh, Bacio Immortale from Argos. And that was it for today, guys. That was it. Please let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you like leathery perfumes, if you like this type of scents, if you have other recommendations, okay, uh, something easy, okay, not too dark, not too much, because I'm still not there, and that's why I decided to make this video, because lots of you, to be honest, asked me to uh, to create this video and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it because I thought for the longest time that I don't like leather fragrances and now I realize that that is not necessarily the case. I can like a good leather suede type of scent. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to pick thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell, please, please, please. You're gonna be notified all the time when I post a new video. And yeah, that was it for today. I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye-bye.